Is that a triple tail? Holy shit, look at that thing. Got him. Got him. That's a big fish. All right, so I promise there's a good fishing video here, but uh, let's give you a quick update. Um, thank you guys, you have raised um, around $2,000 with this raffle. We are upping the ante. I've got some new prizes. Long story short, we added a Pen Slammer 3, some Rob Choi fish prints, um, some jigs, etc. You should all give yourselves a round of applause for donating. Like I said, I did add a couple prizes. Check out the video, it's a pretty good one. Jigging some reds and a, a pretty cool surprise catch. I know I should have kept it, but I didn't have ice. So, uh, all in all, very cool. So, here you go. All right, folks, today, more dirty jigging. So, one ounce, you know, one ounce and a half jig head. Got a one ounce in the other setup. I've got some toys today. You hear that? I was looking through what I had. These bucktails have rattles in them. I'm going to guess the drum, when they're sitting on the bottom in the dirty water, they're gonna like that rattle. We'll see though, I could be wrong. Little cobia. Is that a triple tail? Holy shit, look at that thing. That's that small. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, I can't believe I pulled that off. I can't believe we just did that. I can't believe I just did that. That was so crazy. I can't believe that. Unfortunately, I don't have any ice with me. So, um, we're gonna actually put this guy back. That's right, we're not gonna release this guy. I know they're supposed to be super tasty and super delicious, but this is my current issue here that I just don't have ice. So, give him a second here. Wow, is that how they release? They just go on the surface like that? Is that all he's gonna do is just sit on the surface? Where he went deep. Did he go deep? Yeah, he went deep. So he was just like gliding on the surface like a like a UFO. I thought it was a cobia, a small cobia at first. And a three three quarter ounce jig head with my shad on it. He turned on it and fing smoked it. Alright, we're gonna just cruise the beach a little bit for now. See what we find. That was really cool, man. That was really cool. All right, we're back at the car for a second here. Um, so this thing failed me again, man. I didn't get any sand in it. I re-greased the hell out of it. All right, well, let's swap the drive, swap a rod, and get it back out there and finish up the day. You know, it's high technology functioning stuff. You gotta make sure you have spares of everything, man. It's really a shame, but. This is the second one of these that started doing that grinding noise. I thought I fixed it, and lo and behold, we're back at it. Now chicken wow wow. Switch the bucktail and a gulp shrimp. A little lighter profile too. Redfish there. All right, we got our first redfish. That wasn't hard. I mean, you could take a little bit of patience. One ounce bucktail. One ounce SNS bucktail. Four inch gulp shrimp. This might be an overslot. Cool 
color when they're sitting in the ocean. This beautiful chrome redfishy majesticness. Alright man, fall fishing is here in the Carolinas. Fish on! Fish on! This is gonna be interesting. Going for a ride. Old drum. Could be a ray. I don't know. I hope not. Oh, we lost him. Nice drum. Yeah. Nice drum I missed, man. All right, let's try it again. That was a good fish, man. Real good one. Gulp bite slowed down. That's a big fish. That was on the shad. Nice drum right there, man. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh boy, we're going for a ride here. Old drum likes Elias sheds. got sunscreen in my eye. It's the worst. If you never had that happen, there's nothing worse than that. Almost. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Remember I lost that lip gripper in that Barracuda video? Well, I didn't replace it yet. Nice. Solid fish. Solid one indeed. It's a pretty good one for vertical jigging and having no idea what I'm doing. Feel on that guy. Ounce and a half jig head. I just sank it to the bottom. A couple pops. We're on. I got 60 pound liter. 30 pound braid on there. Currents ripping. Good shot. I hope that ain't a ray. Maybe it's a drum. Oh yeah. Was that a tarpon? Yeah, it was. Holy shit. 
red man we just saw a tarpon a tarpon just came up he blew up on mullet where he just randomly came up damn it's a couple of drops those fish hit instantly though there we go Smaller one, for sure. Hey, black drum, huh? Look at that. You guys on the jigs? Black drum. All right, drum moved off. Went somewhere else. Somewhere that isn't near my jig. It's a quick bite. It's a pretty good one. Glad to catch fish vertically jigging. That's fun as shit to me. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Good jigging trip. Um, we jigged with one and a half ounce SNS Bucktails jig heads, my shads in white. That's what we got that big one on. We missed one more on it. All right, the rest took the one ounce SNS Bucktails John Skinner. It's a mouthful. Uh, with a four inch Gulf shrimp. Water's dirty, so scent definitely probably makes a big difference. Um, yeah, one setup I'm using a Shimano Stratic 3000. I put 15 pound braid on there. I've landed a lot of nice drum on this reel so far, so it's a badass little reel. Other reels is Penn Spin Fisher 6 VI, whatever, 30 pound braid on there. Uh, that'll be out very soon. And I paired that up with a dark matter rod, medium heavy. Not bad, man. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't got one tarpon came through. That was pretty cool. Uh, I expect them, they're, they're probably moving south right about now as we had some cooler weather. Um, swell started big now. A little bit of west wind, everything's real nice. So I'm headed in. Uh, that was good. Um, I'll take that. Good little bite there. I will catch up with you guys soon. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll take it.